Hello everyone, Tom Bertrand here, Legendary Golf. Today I want to compare two of probably the greatest players that have ever lived, Ben Hogan and Tiger Woods. I'm going to compare aspects of their swing with each other and point out the differences in their swings. And what we're going to do is start with Ben Hogan right now. And first thing I want to look at is in his swing is when he is at address with his right hip. As you can see with that, he also has the angle of the right leg. And I also want to check out how level his hips stay throughout his swing on the way back, on the way through, and then we'll compare that with, with Tiger. So right now, what we can see is as Hogan is halfway back, his right hip is still in, in the uh, rotation stage where he's continuing to rotate back, rotate back, rotate back until he gets to a point where he's ready to start firing going forward. And as he's ready to start firing going forward, you can see that his hips have moved slightly forward. And he's still in line with the rotation of his hip, even above the left hip that you can see right there. Okay? Now, as he continues on through his his swing, what you'll notice is he has been pushing off of that right foot. His hips are staying nice and level. He's going to get to impact. His left hip is still turning, turning, turning all the way through his swing. Level left. That's what he told John Schley. He said, I like to have my hips going a level left. And he practiced that constantly. Okay. So let's see where Tiger's hips are and legs as he's making his swing. First off, we're going to check his right, right hip. And make sure starting at address. And he has a little bit of an angle of the right leg as well. And where his hips are going to be as he's swinging. So on the way back, what does Tiger do? Tiger takes it back, gets to about halfway. He's kind of a little bit more on his right foot than Hogan is, but he's got a good turn. And it looks like he's reached his full hip turn at this point. And now he's just cocking his wrists and his shoulders are turning slightly more as well. Both players are in really good position at this point, except Tiger to me seems like he's a little bit more on that foot instead of against the inside of that foot. As we continue to move on, what we see with his hip is his left hip is turning, turning, but he's getting kind of getting that squat move where he goes from a level position to kind of down. And with this downward movement, what you're going to see is that his, his belt buckle is going to kind of go up slightly when he starts going on his, the rest of his swing. As he continues through the hitting air, there goes that belt buckle up. It's an upward movement instead of a continued turn around the body. That just shows you that as he was standing up a little bit too much in the impact area with his left leg. All right. So going back to Hogan, what I want to point out next <clears throat> is at address, where is Mr. Hogan's head? And... Let's see here. Mr. Hogan's head's at address, slightly turned to the right, 
From there, what he does is as he turns back, the head stays almost in an exact same position all the way to the top of the swing. From this position right here, he moves ever so slightly to the right, slightly, and then keeps his head back as his hands and arms are going through the hitting area. Wonderful movement of the body to rotate, but yet stay in position to consistently strike the ball. Now, what I also want to know, want you to notice is a little bit about the knees. The knees here are going to be pretty close together from the top of the swing as he goes down. As he moves through the hitting area, the knees work together in, in tandem. Now, with Tiger... What we're going to find is his head is going to be right about there. And let's take a look at what Tiger's head does on, on the way back for, for his swing. As he's going back, what you'll notice is his head starts to move a little bit to the right on the backswing. So it's it's kind of getting to the point where it's moving moving back. Then as he's coming down, he starts to move his head down as well, probably from that squat move as he's going into the hitting area. One other th thing I'd like you to notice is as he gets to the top of his swing, top of his back swing, he's going to have those legs, but watch how they start to separate on the way down. See the squat separate move? That's because he put he had more weight on the foot instead of against the foot so that he could dynamically shift it into the hitting area. But as you can see, his head does move around a little too much, and that can cause inconsistencies in your golf swing. So in finishing, I just want to say that those points between the two swings might show why Hogan was a little bit more consistent than Tiger is right now. Tiger looks a little bit more powerful, but Mr. Hogan is 51 years old in that swing, so, and Tiger's in his 40s, so just a little bit of fun there. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll talk to you next time.